Hey guys, today we'll see how can we install live coding in Eclipse to work in Python. So to do that, first we have to discuss some important matter that is the latest versions of Eclipse which was released after 2019 or 2018 and after the 9 month of it. So those versions will not support live coding. So to get the live coding thing to work in your Eclipse, you need to download and install the lower like the older versions of it so we'll download the older versions and i'll show you the list the supported list of uh, eclipse versions like which support live coding so these are the things which support live coding for now and thanks to this guy don he's like he has developed this module for even eclipse and also the pycharm the next video i'll show you like how can you install live coding in pycharm and get on with it so let's get started okay first thing for us to download eclipse now uh, which supports live coding i'm just gonna open a new tab and type eclipse download the same thing but uh, this one click on the java developers and here by selecting you have to scroll down a bit and here you can see right uh, this one eclipse oxygen 4.7 you can download any version which were in the list but uh, since i've worked with oxygen i'm pretty much like it so that one and download for any architecture and make sure that if you are using 32 bit of uh, like 32 bit version of eclipse and let the java be also 32 bit like maintain that all the three in 32 bit and all the three in 64 bit so it won't cause you problems like and hit download okay once you download the file you'll have uh, this file in your system and now uh, right click on it and extract it uh, i'm not gonna use the default extractor i'll use the 7 zip one i'll just extract it using 7 zip i think you should have an extraction tool in your system it's way faster it uh, depends on your thing so finally it's not about extraction part okay once it got extracted open it uh, click on Eclipse okay now it's gonna ask for the workspace and one thing to mention because we have installed the latest version in the in my first video if you still have that it's gonna give uh, like it'll conflict with that folder so to avoid that just give it as Eclipse workspace one or just rename it so it'll create a different workspace for this one and let's launch so as you can see it is March 2018 so let it start first you can just use this and delete the latest version of Eclipse like if you want live coding otherwise on the performance and all stuff I think 2020 version is better so if you need the live coding you better stick with this so that is what I want to say so once it finished loading we'll see the old same welcome screen of El Eclipse 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 and close it now uh, what we have to do is the same thing we have to install the Python things in here help install new software and type the url it is http colon double slash pydev dot org slash updates and enter fetch and click on the pydev and next so it will install the dependencies it needs on python so once it's done next and I accept the terms of license agreements and finish okay now hit uh, install anyway and restart now so let eclipse restart once okay once it restarts uh, we'll have the same ui and now we'll just create a project project and by the by the project and give a project a name like test and here configure your interpreter config first in path just uh, like uh, allow access and um, so now interpreter is set and click finish and this one the perspective it will be in java perspective remember my choice and open perspective you can also do it by going here okay and clicking on by the perspective so we are already in it now we'll create a module and just type a simple program and then install live coding so to check with it uh, install package and type uh, what type package one i always use the same names 
ओके ना ओके एंड कॉन पैकेज एंड न्यू पाईदे मॉड्यूल एंड टाइप एनीथिंग यू वॉन्ट प्रोग्राम वन वट एवर इट इज ओके कमिंग टू द मेन पार्ट वी शुड इंस्टॉल लाइव कोडिंग टू इंस्टॉल लाइव कोडिंग गो टू हेल्प एंड क्लिक ऑन एक्लिप्स मार्केट प्लेस ओके दिस इज मार्केट प्लेस एंड इन हियर टाइप लाइव कोडिंग इन पाइथन and enter okay it will fetch the module for it okay this one live coding in python 2.25.0 install it okay i accept the license agreement and finish so it's getting installed click on install anyway and it last for a restart just click on restart now okay save okay now eclipse has restarted and we can see some new options of live coding and we'll just check the live coding with a simple code and i'll just type the code right now so for i in range 2 222 incremented by 2 and print i so it basically prints multiplication table of 2 because the value of 2 is incremented by 2 every time till it reaches 22 and now we'll just like start it so here you can see our live coding is working well and i'll just show you like that and a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 10 and c is equal to a plus b okay here you can see c is equal to 20 so live coding is working well so that's how you install live coding in eclipse uh, older version but it works okay no issues it clearly works you can just practice it using this okay that's it with that being said adios amigos